Hey everybody, so I'm here because I wanted to bring you all along with me. I'm going out downtown, I want to get out, I'm going to go to Trader Joe's. I wanted to get me some snacks. Um, I've been in all day and I do have my mask because I'm supposed to be wearing a mask. Um, but with that being said, I need to get some things for my bedroom. I have guests over and I need to do a few things for myself. I do want to hit up some other places, but I'm not sure. So this might be a short video. But if y'all want to come along with me, you can come along with me. And we can enjoy this day together. So let's go. downtown 14th street look like it's about to rain i'm glad i brought my umbrella i wish best buy was open i'm going to check best buy just to see what's on their doors because i believe they're closed but after this i'm just going to head on over to trader joe so i am in trader joe's and i just want to see if they got any gluten-free stuff I don't know if I really want to get this. Let me check this sugar. 38 grams of sugar. That's one Coke cake. I don't know if I can take all of that. Let me look around some more. So I decided to get the chocolate cupcakes. I guess I'll do this for a review for another video, another day. So what I ended up doing was putting those cupcakes back because I saw that they had eggs in them. It didn't cross my mind until I went around the corner. But I ended up just picking up some snacks that I'll probably do for a future video. Um, and if you're watching this now, do look out for it. I ended up giving me some more oats that are gluten free and also got me some um, almonds that we'll put in my oats for breakfast. I also got some spud crunchies and what I'm looking for now is just to uh, sea salt i don't see any here so i might have to go somewhere else to get it or i might just have to come back empty-handed but i'm fine either way i might pick up one more snack to um to get but i'm just happy with what i got now i think what i'm doing now is just head on out and go and see where i want to go next so i just came out of trader joe's and i asked the cashier 
where they open the park. Like they usually have, they sell food and stuff. And she said she thinks so. So I'm just gonna give it a, a try. They might not be open because everything's been closed for quarantine, but I'm just gonna go over there anyway and see what's up. Sometimes I just like going to the park. So no, I don't believe that uh, there's any farmer's market out here. They usually open during this time, during the spring and summer. Um, maybe when everything opens back up, I can come back out here another time. I was looking for some plants, but I think I'm gonna just go look around a bit and see what I can find. I just came out of Home Depot and I think what I'm gonna do is go head back home. Um, they didn't have what I wanted or needed. So it looks like I gotta wait till a lot of stuff open back up before I can even get anything that I need. I wanna go to PetSmart. <laughs> I wanna go uh, and sit down and get on my computer, but I can't really do that at this time. Um, I definitely wanna go to 42nd Street. So, I might just do that. We, nah, I'll go home today. So, I'll do that another day. I think I'm gonna go home now. So, I decided to continue walking and try to get to 34th Street Penn Station um, because I realized I need to actually go to Target and pick up one thing <laughs> that I need for my cooking. Um, if I have enough time, I'll go to Bryant Park because Bryant Park is not too far from 34th Penn Station. Uh, might be like seven, eight blocks. I don't know. But um, from there, from Target, I'm going to go see if I got enough time. And then I'll head on over to Bryant Park just to sit down and relax for a while. So I'm on my way there now. I'm on 31st Street. So we'll see how things go. So I made it into Target. I'm going to come in and come out and just be done with the store. Found the agave. That's exactly what I needed. So let me get on out of Target and head on home. So I just came out of Target and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to 42nd Street. The reasons why um, is because everything has been shut down. Everything has been closed. And in my mind's eye, I'm like, it's kind of historic to see or hoping to see um, 42nd Street or uh, Times Square empty or at least not having that many people because every single time I go to Times Square, it is so crowded. So hopefully, when I go down there, we'll see how it looks. It could be still crowded, cause it's still a hot spot of tourism um, in New York. So I'm gonna head on down to 42nd Street. And then from there, I'm still looking at the time. If I have more time, I'll go to Bryant Park. Times Square as you can see behind me then I guess they're not letting nobody on the steps 
Um, but it's, 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 it's pretty, it's people here, but it's not as jam-packed as it usually is during the day. You know, I used to come through here almost every single day and it was just always packed. Uh, but it's not really packed at all right now. So I just find that this is amazing, you know? Not having that many people down here. I'm gonna go to Bryant Park and take a seat. I'm hoping Bryant Park is open. I think the parks are open. If not, I'm just gonna go straight home and call it a day. So let me head on over to Bryant Park now, which should be like two to three, four blocks. Uh, Cause I'm right now on 46, is on 42nd. And you know, I gotta go zigzag. So let me head on over there now. So I made it out here and it's looking pretty nice. Like, I'll be honest, I've been out here many times, but I'm definitely smelling the flowers. And it's just strange to me because I come up here all the time and I don't smell anything, but I smell the flowers and I smell the scent of the grass, the greenness around here. But I want to show you all what's happening out here. There are people out here definitely. And I'm going to sit back and relax for a minute, pop up on my laptop and take care of some business. And then from there on out, I'm going to head home. Um, but let me show you all around. So that is it for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sit back, relax, and work on a few things. Hey y'all, so I'm gonna put the video to the end right here. I'm ready to go home. I'm happy I was able to go out. I was happy that I was able to bring you all along. I'm looking forward to just getting home, taking a shower, relaxing, and eating, and calling it a day. There are projects that I can work on at home. I started some before I left, and then when I get back, I can finish it up, and this will be an ongoing process. Um, I did talk to some people, uh, and they think that New York probably won't be or at least New York City won't be opening up probably to around the first week of June, the middle of the week, or the middle of the month of June. We don't know, they're going day by day. But if you find that you're stuck at home and you need to go out, go out to the park, do what you need to do. Luckily enough, I live right beside the park and I'm happy that I was able to actually go out today and get a few things that I needed. So with that, if you enjoyed this video, definitely like, subscribe, comment below, and take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and hope to see you all in the next video. See ya. Bye. <laughs>